Dear friends and colleagues, I'm Philip Ortmans, radiation oncologist working in Antwerp at the Iridium Network and Antwerp University. I had the honor and pleasure of participating last week to BGIICC, the Breast and Gynecology International and Immunotherapy uh, Cancer Conference. It's not the first time I participated. In fact, it's the fourth or the fifth time of which once due to COVID was uh, virtual. So I know a lot of the colleagues there and I'm always impressed by the overall uh, organization and by the way that we as international speakers and audience are uh, welcomed by the hosts. The big majority of the participants are from the region, uh, especially Egypt, but also from the Middle East and from Africa. And of course, there are always some participants from uh, other uh, countries and continents. Most of the speakers are also from the region, but in every session, there is a contribution uh, given by uh, international uh, well-renowned speakers um, medical oncologist, surgical oncologist, gynecologist, radiologist, basic researchers, and whatever. Because in fact, we have 3,000 people there. 3,000 people are split uh, or scattered over a lot of rooms. So there were people I saw only once, but they were there all the time. Um, because the 3,000 people scattered over uh, a lot of parallel sessions causes that it's impossible to, to always see everybody. Uh, I participated to the breast-related uh, sessions, of course, and I had a number of uh, contributions. My first contribution, which was part of the uh, plenary session, the plenary open session, was about flash radiation therapy and what the promises of this new emerging technology are for uh, radiation oncology in general and for breast cancer, but also for a number of other topics in uh, particular. Flash radiation therapy means that you give the dose in an extreme short time frame. Instead of a treatment that lasts typically two minutes, let's say one minute and a half, two minutes, you give the treatment in milliseconds. So you can give a dose of, let's say, 21 gray for intraoperative radiation therapy in breast cancer in just uh, something like 100 part of uh, a second, which is extremely short. Now, why would we do that? It is because we have a lot of preclinical data that show that if you give the dose in a, such a short time frame, that you have the same effect against the tumor, but a lot lower effect on normal tissues. So the flesh effect is per definition maintaining anti-tumor effect and lowering the uh, effects on the normal tissue, so the risk for side effects. Mm -hmm.